Hi guys, it's Darren here from Deep Blue Apps and I've got a, a nice tutorial here for you. It's all about combos, so combinations with scores and let me just quickly run it and we'll show you what's going on. Now if I touch one block I want to get 10 points, which it does. Now just ignore the combo and the multiplier at the bottom there. Now <clears throat> when I get hit two blocks I want it to give me a times two score, so I'm going to get 20 points for hitting two blocks, but I want to times that by two. As you can see, it's added 40 onto my score, and we get a nice little combo up there as well that appears. Now, if we get three blocks, I want that to do 30, because we've hit three blocks, times by three. So it's going to add 90 onto my score. So when I hit three blocks, I'm expecting to get a score of 210. Um, <clears throat> I can't count, <laughs> 220. We'll just do that again, 90 plus, <laughs> 90 plus 220 is 310. So I'm going to hit three blocks, and there you go. And the same really, so on and so on, up to uh, a maximum of five blocks. So I'm going to hit four blocks in a minute, so that's 40 times four is 160. So one, two, three, four, and there you go. One, two, three, four, it's a four combo. Now, last but not least is the five combo, so I want 50 points for hitting all five blocks, and then I want to times that by five. So 50 times five is 250, so that will give me 890. And there you go. Just do it again. One block, 10 points. Two block, 40. Three block, 90. Four blocks, 160. And all five, 250 if I'm fast enough. <laughs> so let's go back and let's show you how it's done. You'll need some attributes, you'll need a combo, a score and a multiply. These are game attributes, they're all integers. We'll go back into the actors, we'll look into the block. Now the first line here is just a simple move to the right at a speed of 50. That'll just get the blocks moving to the right. And then when touch is inside, we're just changing the position of the block to minus 50 back out of the scene on the left hand side. Now these next two are what you're interested in. It's changing attribute game combo to game combo plus one and game multiply to game multiply plus, plus ten. Now this little rule here, this is simply if you only hit the blocks once. If, you, if combo is less than two, which it will be if you only, only hit one block, then game score to plus ten. Now going into the uh, two times combo actor, this is where I've got all the rules set up to change the score. So if game combo equals 2, we've got a game score to game score plus, and then in brackets because we want this separate, game multiply times game combo take away 10. Now the game multiply, if you get a combo of 2, will be 20, times the game combo, which will be 2, which will equal 40. Now the reason we have to take this minus 10 away is because of the initial touch. If we don't do that, and I'm just going to quickly show you what happens if we get a two combo. It'll give me 50. And I don't want that. I want 40 points for a two combo, not, um, not 50. So that's the reason we've taken away the 10 at the end. And then we're just simply swapping the image. You can see in my images folder there, I've got two, three, four, and five combos. Game combo equals two. Change the image. Now, game combo equals three. We're having to take away, it's the same code, all oh, this is exactly the same, but we're having to take away 40. And the reason why, again, I'll just go back and show you. If I get a three combo, which I actually got a four combo, if I get a three combo, if I can actually get a three combo, <laughs> let's just reset it, I'll get three, it gives me 130. And again, it's giving me 260, so it's giving me 130 points every time. And I don't want that, so the best way to do that is just go in there and do a minus 40, which will give me the correct figure. Now when I get a 3 combo, it'll give me the correct score of 90. And there you go. Because I don't want the combos to add up, I don't want you to be able to get a 2 combo and then times by 3, times by 4, and all the touches as well. So it's, uh, it's pretty nice the way it's all set up. And that just continues all the way down to the five combos. 
with obviously different figures to take off to get the correct uh, combo score. And then at the bottom here I've got gain combo bigger than 1, then change the alpha to 1. So at the moment the, um, the two combo sprite there, the actor there is just um, alpha down to 0 so it's not visible. But when you get a combo bigger than 1, so 2 to 5, then it's going to change the alpha to 1 so you can see it. And then after one second, it's going to change the game combo to zero. This just resets the combo. And if game combo is one, in other words, if you've just hit one block, again, after one second, we're just changing the, uh, the game combo to zero. And then we're changing the game multiplier back to zero as well. If game combo is bigger than two, is less than two, sorry, then we're just changing the alpha back. To, um, to zero. There's nothing in the otherwise sections to talk about. And then basically that's it guys really. These at the bottom here display combo. I've just got these set up for testing purposes and display multiply as well is there. Again it's just testing purposes. Like I've said really nice 10 points for one block, 40 points for two blocks, 90 points for three blocks, 160 for four, um, and if you get all five, you get 250 points added onto your score. So there you go. Nice little example of how to do combinations in uh, in Game Sally. And I just want to take this opportunity to thank everyone for all the support over at DeepBlueApps.com. And without your support, obviously, we wouldn't be making these free templates and giveaways. And if you're interested in game templates or free stuff like music, or GS tools which are really really uh, nice and popular. The merger is one of my favorites and the resizer also is one of my uh, personal favorites there. Then just pop over to www.deepblueapps.com and I'll talk to you soon guys.